So Duagens, uh, seated before you are uh, members of CARA from different parts uh, of Nairobi, some, of, some outside Nairobi, and of course uh, others are also our friends and partners. And uh, we, all of them, are <coughs> very keen and interested on finding out how within their respective neighborhood they can work with various stakeholders, whether it is government, whether it is private sector, just to make sure that uh, we are fixing our security challenges and to make sure that we are coming up with solutions that will, at the end of the day, make sure that our neighborhood is safe and secure. And that's uh, part of what we're going to discuss here today. So without taking much time, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to go right straight to the program and invite our treasurer, Mr. Ephraim Kanake, uh, just to come and read a brief statement on behalf of Kara. Bana Kanake Karibu. We want to welcome you to the 69th session of the Bimandre talk series on the theme, What is the role of residents association, associations towards promoting safety and security in Kenya? We appreciate our partners, Hans Saido Foundation, for their continued support that made this forum possible. We also appreciate our members, partners and friends who have created time to attend this very important forum. At this point, we want to once again condemn in the strongest terms possible the recent terrorist attack at the 14 Riverside Drive business complex that led to the death of 21 innocent lives and left several others injured. Such cowardly instances only strengthens our resolve as a country to do whatever it takes to defeat the terrorism in all its forms and shape. There we could only add that uh, we know that the UA has been having a meeting and they have resolved to deal with the terrorism in Africa. We are all aware that issues of security and safety requires concerted efforts by various stakeholders and every patriotic citizen. There must be structured collaboration between the government and communities aimed at ensuring effectiveness in the fight against insecurity. Resident associations have security as one of their key priorities. In their areas where they reside, most citizens, the resident associations, were formed with the intention of addressing security challenges at the neighborhood level. We have seen our members going to great lengths to secure their neighborhood, e.g. hiring of private security firms, investing on perimeter walls and estate gates, installing alarm systems, working with the local police stations to enhance surveillance, among other steps. With the nature of crime increasing and becoming complex and the wake of terrorism, threats in Kenya, the role of resident associations towards finding solutions to security challenges cannot be overemphasized. Resident associations are better placed to monitor activities within neighborhoods of their jurisdiction and take appropriate action on any unusual or suspicious activity or residents around them. To be more effective, the residents' association to form strong working relations with the local police and other security players. The Hans Adel Foundation is a German political foundation. Our work in Kenya through local partners such as CARA focuses on the areas of civic. Our work cuts across supporting consistent civic education, working with public institutions to promote efficiency in service delivery, strengthening political parties, engagement with the private sector, 
and seminars and initiatives on peace and security locally and in the region because our office in Kenya also covers work in Ethiopia and sections of the whole of Africa. With regards to today's topic, and as Henry has rightly mentioned, security begins with you was a statement mentioned some time ago, I think it was around 2014, uh, by our president, and, and those are words that generated mixed reactions among Kenyans. But those words really seem to form the basis for today's discussions. Um, for what constitutes a resident association of resident associations is that it individuals, households, and other community members. I therefore hope that today's forum enables us to enrich what already exists, the structures already in place by government, by non-government uh, non organizations, to strengthen that, to enrich that through ideas, through information sharing that we'll get from our distinguished uh, panelists and speakers, and also those that will be collected from you as the audience. And therefore, this will be applicable to citizens and to resident associations and also the security agencies. Therefore, in conclusion, I wish you a productive engagement in today's forum, and thank you very much.